All right, today let's talk about our websites, and I want to give some tips on six things that should be on a website if you are a local business, a small business. So let's get right into it. Uh, number one thing that should be on your website is your phone number. Um, make it very, very easy for people to contact you. And I'm not talking about tucked away on the contact us page or in the very bottom of the footer. I'm talking prominent on every single page in the top right hand corner where people can easily find it and easily call you. Uh, so make sure your phone number is on your website. Number two, if you're active on social media, and I do recommend that you are, um, that I want you to have your social media icons in which you're active at the very top of your website as well. So if you're active on Facebook and Twitter, go ahead and put the uh, the Facebook the, a link to your Facebook page, a link to your Twitter page with the icons, etc. And I have a, a web developer if you need someone to, to, to help you with that. But it, it kind of just subtly tells people that you are active there because a lot of times in the decision-making process, people will check you out, not just your website, but will check you out on Facebook and Twitter to see what you're really all about, see how transparent you are, et cetera. So make sure that it's easily accessible for them to find your social media accounts. Number three, <clears throat> excuse me, is you want to have some kind of an email uh, capture, a way to capture people's uh, email, and not just say hey, subscribe to a newsletter. You want to give them a really solid uh, offer. It could be something, you know, if you're a contractor, the three things that you should check before uh, hiring a contractor, put in your email address to get this, uh, you know, report, something of that nature. And so, your website, you should just be a, a brochure where people can check you out. Now you can make your website work for you to capture people's information so you can follow back up with them uh, later through different kinds of you know, blog campaigns or email campaigns. But make sure your website has the ability to capture people's uh, information so you can market to them later. Number four, you want to make sure that you have a blog, not just a blog section. If you're not going to keep up with the blog, don't have it. But uh, you want to, again, you want to give people reasons to come back to your website without having to buy, meaning you want to have helpful information that you're consistently updating. And also, if you have a blog that you're consistently updating, Google likes that because you're, you're giving it something else to check out each month when they crawl your page. And so, but the, the main focus again is to help your uh, potential customer, give them great content, and eventually they will buy from you. But if they have no reason to come back because there's never a change on their website, why would they ever come back? So make sure that you're uh, doing an active blog. That's something that we can do for you if you need help in that regard. Number five is you want to have a very specific call to action. So if you go to my website, uh, at the you know on the first page you're going to see something that says we help local businesses gain more loyal customers learn more I'm guiding you to a page that I want business owners to go to and so the same thing if whatever your businesses have some kind of a, of a funnel to get them to a landing page or some kind of page where they know that they're about to do business for, with you. So if you are uh, a lawn care company, you know we, we help uh, you know residential customers take care of their, of their lawn, you know get started and whatnot. It takes you to a page where they fill out their information to, to get a quote, something of that nature. I'm just off the cuff there, but some kind of a, a call to action to get them to the pages. Uh, that are most beneficial for you and your business. Um, business. What number six is you want to have an about us page and not generic with stock photos. I'm talking hiring a professional writer to write an about us page uh, about you and your business or you and your you know employees. And here's the key: have real pictures of you and your staff and your employees. Maybe you, if it's a family-owned business, you and the the the, the family. Uh, make sure it's updated photos, and and make sure that if you do have employees on there, if if someone leaves for whatever reason, that you update that page. But again, we as consumers, we buy with our gut and not with our brain. And so when people have a connection with who they're about to do business with, that really helps. So make sure that you are you have an about us page, but it, it includes real pictures 
and it is professionally uh, written with you know facts about you and, and your business, etc. Uh, so I, I definitely hope this helps. This gives you kind of a checklist to go through to make sure that you have all the necessary things on your website to grow your business. Thanks.